What's up guys, Brick Queen here, and it is finally time to review the Attack on the Burrow set. It is set number 75980. This is the 2020 version of the Burrow, but if you want to see the original version, let me know. I am more than happy to get that out and do a comparison for you guys. This is a really cool set. Now, I will be honest with you guys, this does cost $100, so it's a little up there, but it has 1,047 pieces and eight minifigures. So all in all, I'm gonna say totally worth it, love the set. And honestly, I did not think that I would <laughs> when I uh, was looking at getting the Burrow. I, to, in my mind, I was thinking, guys, I have the original Burrow, what do I need this for? But you know what? I ended up loving this set after I built it. Um, <laughs> so now I've taken the Burrow apart because you can just easily attach this up here like that. And voila, but it's so tall, it's so much easier uh, to review it if you just go ahead and take it apart like that. So this is the whole burrow, which is really, really cool. Now, there are a couple of things that I would change. Just minor things, all in all, I still love, 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 love this set. Um, now, let's take a look at our bad guys over here. Bellatrix Lestrange is one of the ones that I've always thought was like a really neat looking character. Um, I am honestly not as impressed with this one as I wanted to be. Um, I do love the fact that she's got one of these new dress pieces, but there's no printing on it. Why is there no printing on this dress piece? There should totally be printing on that. But still, um, very nice printing on the torso. And then the face, I think they kind of went a little bit more normalized on the face than uh, the, the older version of Bellatrix. And I will totally give you guys a comparison so you understand what I'm talking about. The old Bellatrix at least in my opinion, feel free to disagree. But in my opinion, the old one was better. And I'm pretty sure this is the same hairpiece, which is totally fine because it's perfect as is. Uh, but Bellatrix Lestrange, everybody. Um, and then we also have, uh, this is Fenrir Greyback. Um, another, huh, I mean, I think he looks a lot like the, the old one I have. Um, I think it's a little different. Like the printing is slightly different and I don't have the old one out right now uh, to know for sure, but that's another one. If it is different and I'm pretty sure it's a little different, I will definitely do another comparison for this. Also, actually this set presents itself with lots of comparisons uh, between minifigures, the set itself with the old burrow, stuff like that. But I mean, let's take a, a closer look at the house itself because there's actually a lot of stuff included in this. And I wanted to cover the bad guys first, so I kind of just set them kind of back here out of the way. Um, also, with the bad guys, you kind of have to have this, this little flame thing. And you can move these flames however you want to, uh, but just kind of do it like that. I do, I don't know if they use this a whole lot, but I love that the flame, the bigger flames at least, are like two-tone so it's kind of like the orange at the bottom and then it goes into the smoky color love that i think that they should do that for flames like all the time that perfect <laughs> just perfect all right so now the burrow itself i mean this is the top part and i'll get to that in a minute don't worry <laughs> I am a huge Harry Potter fan, so this is probably going to be a long review, and I'm sorry for that, but I just have so much that I want to tell you about because this is an incredibly awesome set. So, it opens two ways. For one, you can kind of, like, move the whole little breakfast table out, so you can move the kitchen, which I think is awesome, just to give you more access to the middle area. You have the clock in the middle, and there are, okay, there are several stickers in this, quite a few, if I remember correct. I think I had two sticker sheets when I was building this, unless I'm imagining things. I think I had two, two, two sticker sheets. Um, so, plenty of stickers, but I've gotten, I don't know, I've gotten to where I don't hate stickers as much as I used to, uh, but I love this little kitchen area, the little breakfast table. You have waffles, you have eggs, you have orange juice. Looks like probably I'm thinking that's chocolate syrup, I'm guessing, maybe, or maybe that's supposed to be a little coffee pot. I don't know, 
but I love the little kitchen area. You got the little sink over there. Uh, just really, really cute little kitchen. And of course you have Molly Weasley right there. And this is definitely an update for Molly. Uh, having the dress piece is really nice. Love this hair piece for her. Uh, the torso, this outfit she's got for the top or the, the shirt she's got, I think looks absolutely awesome. I love all the detailing on it is fantastically perfection. <laughs> um, and then there's the back. Uh, you can see she does have a double-sided face which is always awesome on many figures. You always want to have that option uh, if you can. So that is fantastic. So that is Molly. I'm just going to kind of set her over here also. Um, also at the breakfast table, Harry Potter. Because um, all the Weasleys and Harry Potter have breakfast together here at uh, the Weasleys' home, the burrow. Um, so <laughs> this is uh, Harry Potter here. And there's the back. Nothing super special, fancy about this particular uh, Harry Potter minifigure, I think. It's kind of just like, this is your basic clothes Harry Potter. So nothing super fancy, but I mean, I do think he needed to be included in the set anyway. So, and then up here, Ginny Weasley falling off of her bed up here. Uh you know, kind of uh, Harry Potter's girlfriend. I don't, not quite at this point, I don't think. Or maybe they were. I can't remember exactly when they sort of got together. But anyway, eventually, definitely. <laughs> um, so this is Ginny Weasley. I think they actually did a pretty good job on her face. Um, I like that she, it's, she's got some kind of personality with uh, the face that they gave her. I like it. Um, and then also the the scared face, I guess, for when, you know, they're actually attacking. And I'm sorry, I do have four dogs and a cat in my house. So um, animal fur is kind of inevitable in my sets. I am so sorry about that. I try my best to clean that up, but I can't get rid of all of it. Anyway, still awesome minifigure. <laughs> I'm going to set that one aside. Like I've shown you like five minifigures and there's still what, three more I think mixed in here. We will find them as we review the set. Um, so again, that is your awesome little kitchen area breakfast table that moves out like this. Then in here, you can see the clock. You can see there's a, a chair there. It looks like a bookcase here. Now, if you want to get a really good look at the living room, just turn your house around. It's a lot easier when you have it setting down flat, but can do it. You can open it up this way also, which I love, 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 love the fact that you have that option. Um, I like that the front of the house it looks so cute. And all the little pieces uh, to design the roof, all the different colors that they used, it's perfect. It looks so much like the burrow. I love this set. And like I said at the beginning, I did not think that I would. And in my mind, I was thinking, I have the old burrow. Why would I like this set? But I do. I love this set. Love the minifigures. Love the set itself. This one is definitely going to have to find a spot in my room to be displayed. Um, so along with Molly Weasley, you got to have her husband, Arthur Weasley here, with his fantastic sweater. Uh, I just think this is perfect. I love, I mean, look at all the detailing on his little sweater. It's so cute. Um, <laughs> even on the back, um, very, very awesome. And second faces all around. Very cool. <laughs> so that is Arthur Weasley. I'm going to let him hang out over here by Molly. All right. So, and on the outside, you also have your little pig in the gate there, you know, just because. And you can open the gate up and let the little pig out. It's just a, a solid pink little pig. Super cute. You can have little nostrils. I don't know why, I just, I think that that, that is cute. Um, <laughs> and also, if you look around the house, you can see these little, like, looks like stained glass. Um, this was, that is the reason that I had two sticker sheets, because one was for clear stickers and one was for solid stickers. Um, so all the clear ones went on these glass pieces, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, just really added a lot uh, to the design overall of the house. And that is kind of just mixed in all around different little spots here. 
and you'll see this little knob. Let me show you what that does. So, okay, if I turn that, I know from this angle you can't see what I'm doing. Now, that's this part that I'm turning, and you have the little fireplace there, which doubles as a flu network, so you can actually do magic and teleport elsewhere, which I love, um, that you can just, you know, turn that piece. Also, you have the little log stacked up there for when you want to actually use it as just a fireplace. <laughs> so that's, you know, stacked up there next to it. You have a little table with a letter there, and then there's their big orange couch, which is awesome. And you can kind of see inside, there's also some stuff on the wall back here. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see the stuff on the wall back here, but just some extra little things that they added to decorate around the house. And let me kind of set this down and close the bottom parts back up. You also have uh, this, I believe, since it's got, you know, all of the, you know, little vanity stuff here. This is going to be Jenny's uh, room here. Um, it's also got a little poster there for the Weird Sisters and a broom hanging above that. And actually, I guess we could probably see her bed better from the top view. And there we go. So, I don't know, it's hard to get it to focus just right so you can see that sticker on the top of the bed, but it is the Holy Head Harpies team is what her bedspread is for. So, that is kind of the, I don't know, bottom portion of the burrow. And then this is the top part. So we still have two more minifigures to go. Um, and the minifigures, I just kind of randomly put different places in here so I could kind of uh, show you as we go. This one is one of the ones that I am just a little bit disappointed in. This is Nymphadora Tonks. And while I am super happy that Nymphadora is included, I would love to have seen different color hair for her. Um, Nymphadora can change her hair color even change her face, really. Um, and so, and I can't think of exactly what uh, it is. It's some kind of uh, metamorphosis, but I can't remember what the word for it was in Harry Potter. Um, so if you remember what it is that she is, tell me in the comments because I know it and I'm just, my, I'm going blank on it right now and I really can't remember what that word is. Uh, what is it that I'm trying to think of? What is Nymphadora? Um, tell me in the comments. Anyway, um, the figure itself is pretty good. It's like this part of the figure. Great. I just wish we would have been uh, included like a different hair color for her. I get for this particular set probably fits. Maybe they'll include Nymphadora uh, with a different color hair piece in another set. Now that would be awesome and I would be very excited about that. Um, the torso itself looks great. It's just that hair piece. I just wanted to see Nymphadora with colorful hair, but anyway, and then the last minifigure is Ron Weasley here. Um, he's a little bit like Harry Potter in this one to me. Um, it's just kind of like your, your standard, uh, comfy clothes, Ron Weasley, if you will. Um, but anyway, uh, nice double-sided face there for him. And I'm just going to kind of set him over here. Now, that's all our minifigures. You can see lots of them piled up over here. But, you know, the Weasleys have a pretty big family. And that's not even all of them. There's, what, three more brothers? Is that all? Is there? No, I, th I think there's more than that. There's the twins. And then, is there two more? There's, so, maybe there's four brothers? Oh, I can't think of it now. The Weasleys have a big family, though. <laughs> so, okay. Now, you have, you have, okay, right here, this is Ron's room. So, you have kind of the, the smaller bed than in the bottom. Obviously, this is supposed to be the parents' bedroom here. Um, you have a picture of them back here, which is kind of hard to get it to focus just right on. But it looks like the whole family in Egypt there. Um, and that's when they kind of won this... Uh, it's like a wizarding contest that they won. Um, and so they got this, this trip there, basically. And then, so this chair right here, you know, kind of across from the parents' bed, 
This is Molly's chair, obviously. This is where she does her knitting. So she's got this little basket with uh, the blue yarn there, which is great. And she's knitting a Weasley sweater there, which I think is super cute. I love the fact that they used the wands as knitting needles because it actually works out perfect for that. So that is what that is. That is the beginnings of a Weasley sweater there that she's working on. So I just think that that is just, you know, a little something awesome they added in there. And then in Ron's room, um, you have the Chudley, uh, actually, and I'm just now noticing that that piece is on backwards and that is going to drive me crazy. I am so sorry to like stop in the middle of a video, but this, this is on backwards. This is supposed to be this way. That would drive me crazy. So that's the bedspread. <laughs> it's actually easier to show you it this way. Um, so it matches up right like that. And put that back on there. And then the end of the bed there. <laughs> sorry, that would have driven me absolutely crazy. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I know that was random. Um, you do have two owls in it. You have the brown owl with like the wings down, kind of a more like, I don't know, I call it kind of like a classic owl because that's more what we're used to. This is kind of a newer version with the wings out. This is, you know, the white owl. Obviously, this is supposed to be Hedwig since Harry Potter's here. Um, but I just think that this whole set is super cute. And you have just so much in this set and added to it. Uh, all in all, I absolutely love it. I am sorry that this review was so long and for randomly stopping and changing pieces in the middle of it, but I love this set. I am a huge Harry Potter fan. You guys are bound to know that about me by now, that I love Harry Potter. So anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and definitely, definitely stay tuned. Well, for lots of comparisons coming soon, and if you guys want me to get out the original Burrow, let me know. I'm probably going to do that anyway because I'm just excited about Harry Potter sets. So anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments and I will see you guys next time.